If you're in a business and you have four or less business partners, but you at least have a business partner, so you're either 50%, one third, or 25% equity holders with other players, then you need to listen to the next part because we're going to address something called business risk. Uh, insurance can play a, a part in actually eliminating or dissolving some of this business risk, but there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of before even looking at that. So if your business is now established, it's got good revenue and you're generating profits and your life is now dependent on it, what you need to make sure that you've got in place are your shareholder agreements. Shareholder agreements are actually going to dictate what happens should various different types of incapacity, illness, perhaps holidays, family issues, whatever the case may be, your shareholder agreement is going to largely dictate how the business plays out when these unexpected events occur. You can expect the unexpected by making sure that you have the right type of shareholder agreement. Also, if somebody is literally to have one of the worst events happen, which is either to uh, pass away or become long-term disabled, you've, if you've got a shareholder agreement that addresses this, that's the first step. The second step is really to have a buyout agreement. Now, a buyout agreement is a legal document that then tells you how that equity is then dispersed should somebody in your organization, one of the major equity holders, not be able to fulfill their roles within the business. Because let's face it, most businesses are not going to be able to function and support somebody in a long-term disabled position or in a death position, they're not going to be able to constantly supply the members of the family with an income based off the revenue that their percentage of equity should be generating because that person's not generating the revenue anymore. So having a buyout agreement actually stipulates how you're going to treat the equity of that business partner if they're not there. Whether it's the business pays it out, whether a life insurance policy pays it out, or whether the, uh, the equity effectively dissolves. The two things that you need to be considering if you're in partnership or a business partnership with four or less equity holders, it may even be a little bit over four, but four or less, especially if you're a 50-50 equity holder with another person, you need to be looking at your shareholder agreement and you need to be looking at getting a buyout agreement in place.